This is my review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Laser Beak. Okay, so let's have ourselves a closer look at the hover jet mode. And obviously the hover jet mode has a lot of characteristics of the beast mode. But uh, you can see here it's got the twin uh, mech tech weapons, which are pretty big and pretty impressive looking. And I like the fact that these turbines do actually move and spin, as you can see there. And looking at the uh, cockpit section, you can see here you got what appear to be windows, and you've got this really nice tribal bird eye design here on both sides. And I don't know, I, I uh, kind of like it, but I think it would almost look better without it in the hover jet mode. It would look more like a actual, you know, vehicle mode as opposed to this, which kind of looks like a bird head. But uh, anyways, that's just uh, my opinion. So, I, I don't know, I may just remove these, I'm not sure. But it does have quite a few mech tech ports. You can see there's two on top here. Of course, you got two on bottom uh, that are being occupied by the mech tech weapons. You've got two on the bottom of what become the feet for beast mode, you can see there, and one here on the forehead. So a nice array of mech tech ports. So really nice. So I'll go ahead and show you the two mech tech weapons that Laser Bee comes with. So they're almost identical, but you actually have one that actually has a gimmick. So you can see there's a little channel there. You push that in, it rotates out the, the Gatlin gun. You can see there. It actually has three full revolutions. But what you, what you can do is if you go ahead and get this started, and then you take this guy over here, and actually he plugs in like that, and then you have yourself one ginormous mech tech weapon. So really nice, and this is about the right size, you know, in this combined form, this is about the right size of weapon for a Voyager class figure. So really nice, you can see all the detail in there. If you wanted to get fancy, you can even probably, you know, powder coat it, put some silver in there, maybe some gold, and make the whole thing gray. As it, as it is right now, this color is more of a, a brown. So there you go. Uh, the mech tech weapon for a laser beak in the combined mode. Size comparison time. Well, here you can see is laser beak next to the classic Seeker Jet mold Acid Storm. And do a little more of the comparison here. I kind of think that uh, laser beak is a little bit small. Not necessarily in relation to the classic Seeker Jet, but just in terms of my overall kind of expectation, I thought he was going to be a little bigger than he is. Alright, so let's go ahead and transform Laserbeak into his beast mode. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mech tech weapons. Now before I go on, I want to show off that there is articulation at the thrusters here for the hover jet mode. You've got uh, up and down movement like that, and a full 360 rotation like that. Now starting off with the tail section, I'm going to take this piece, untab it, and extend out the tail, and grab onto this silver blade, rotate it up like that, and then you've got your tail. Uh, now starting with the legs, bring down the legs, and you also want to rotate this red feather, if you will, so that it actually points to the rear, like that. Now once you've got the legs down like that, you want to take the foot itself and it actually will unfold like that. You bring out the heel and there you got one leg done. And do the same thing over here. Grab onto the leg, pull it down, rotate that feather back like that. Bring out the foot and bring out the heel. And you can see the heel is shaped like a pig so that it could peg into other things. Um, so you've got the both legs there, the tail. 
and you'll take these two pieces here, fold them to the side, like so, and that reveals more of the spine, as you can see right there. Now, for the head, what you want to do, you want to fold this piece down like that, you can see the head's right there. You want to grab on to the bottom here, this actually comes out like that, you can see there. Grab on to the neck and the head, pull it out like that, goes back together like that, and you've got your head, and there is Laserbeak's head sculpt. And I'll get into more of that later. Uh, now, for the fun part, the wings. You want to take the uh, turbine section, unfold it like that, and bring out the uh, this little winglet here, like that. And this whole wing basically unfolds. So you just want to grab onto it and make sure everything's out and extended like that. Fold up like that, and you've got uh, one wing done, as you can see there. And do the same thing over here. You want to make sure this is all the way out like this. It's, by default, it's like that, but just bring it out like that. And you've got one wing done, and just do the same thing over here. Unfold everything like so. And there is Laserbeak in his beast mode. His tail out. So really cool. Uh, the wings probably are the feature of this particular transformer. You know, you've got, you still got the turbine here, uh, but you also have, you can see here, it's, uh, it's painted on silver over the red plastic. So it goes from silver to silver red to completely red plastic, as you can see there, you can see the transition. And you've got the same articulation as you did with the hover jet mode around like that, uh, up and down as well. Uh, tail's pretty articulate. It's got uh, a joint here, here, here. So you got uh, some posability options there. The neck itself has a lot of posability. You've got a joint there, 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 and at the base of the head. Now the head sculpt is very weird looking as you can see. And it does have actually a lower jaw. You can see there's a joint there on the side. And if you pry open his beak, you can see he has like a red tongue, which is cool. So yeah, the head sculpt is quite unique, quite weird, and uh, it's a face that only a mother could love. And it kind of, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's bizarre. It's like, I'm staring into the depths of your soul. You will do as Laserbeak commands. So yeah, it's cool. And you've got your articulation at the at the legs here, you got a ball joint there, you know, you got articulation down here, just a ball joint connecting the foot to the ankle. So you, yeah, you got posability options, really cool. Love the wingspan though, and I love the fact that you still see, you can still see the turbine, so he does have that mechanical feel to it, even though he has wings that look much like a bird's wings, so. Uh, that's nice, a really nice feature there as well. So, and you know, of course, the you know the mech tech weapons they can peg on up here, which is a more of a Generation One laser beak homage to have them up here on top of the wings. Uh, but you can certainly put them underneath here as well if you wanted to. So, final thoughts on Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class laser beak. If you have some extra money and you've already gotten the Dark of the Moon figures you want, I would recommend picking up laser beak. He's actually a pretty nice toy. Uh, you know, simple transformation. And uh, I do like the fact, again, that the wingspan looks so cool, and you have the, you know, the turbine still showing, so it really gives a mix of beast and mechanical feel to it. Uh, so I like that. And of course the mech tech weapons are really nice. Uh, of course they combine, which is cool. And when you put them on the wings slash shoulders, it really gives Laserbeak a Generation 1 feel. So, yeah, you know, if you have some extra money left over, I say why not? Pick up Laserbeak.